Well, hello everyone, and welcome to SPN News. I am Ricky, and welcome to the second video on the channel. Yay! <laughs> this is an interesting thing I've been wanting to, to talk about for about a week, and uh, it's this interesting thing that I oh, just found out myself. Um, it's to do with the BBC, and it's to do with the fact that the BBC is introducing a new logo. And this report is actually coming from a website called nme.com forward slash news. And it says right here, the BBC defends new logo despite minimal changes. This is interesting, let's get into it. The BBC has defended their new logo after a wave of backlash claimed it looks extremely similar to the previous one. The new logo revealed last week online, but first launched in the US streaming service, BBC Select in February features a smaller font and slightly larger gaps between each letter of the three grey blocks containing a letter of the broadcaster's name. Interestingly, the BBC Select is actually a brand of, um, that's actually been brought back. At one point in time, it was actually a, I think it was actually a TV channel that was broadcast in America. I'm not too sure. BBC Select has been brought back as a streaming service. Interesting. In a statement obtained by Metro defending the, the design change, the BBC spokesperson said, we are simply using our own font, which we own the intellectual rights to. And that is true. It was initially, but it is true. I'll get to this in just a second. To tidy up the blocks, we updated a uh, we up, when we update content for our BBC products. It would be wrong to suggest that the cost of the design of the blocks was significant. Many on Twitter explained that the new logo would allow the ball crusher to use their in-house typeface BBC Wreath, rather than Gil Sands, which would require licensing fees. That is a problem. That it is for for the BBC kind of thing. That's the reason why they've issued the, the new BBC Wreath font. And that is what the BBC logo uses as their font for the BBC logo. So this is a comparison. This is a from a Twitter person called Meal. I am that complex. In defence, the BBC is going to use in-house font, customised typeface, which will save it more money. Keep in mind, the BBC in the United Kingdom is a taxpayer-funded organisation. So they're going to do everything in their pro in their process to make sure the taxpayers are happy. So there you go. And this is exactly this is what the the logo looks like. And I would say that I didn't like it. It's actually kind of grew me a little bit, this new logo. Because the blocks, the BBC blocks, have been a thing, it's been a thing since the 1960s. I didn't, I didn't actually look at this. I thought it was an April Fool's joke, interestingly enough. Because it, it just didn't look, you know, like the normal BBC logo. It, it, it just, I've been so, everyone around the world has been just so familiar with these, with this, these three blocks right here. It's been so familiar, been so eye-catching that, you know, you never think that the BBC is ever going to change its logo. Even I didn't think that. I did think there was about 10 that did that. And they did. It's actually been soft-booted, though. It's been a soft um, introduced. So it's been introduced time, time, and time, and time again on new new things kind of thing. Um, now, if I can English, that basically means that YouTube is soft is soft introducing the logo through its products. So it's been introduced in its American products such as BBC Select and some other, pro uh, other projects that they work on. And I've actually noticed that in a beta, that someone showcased on YouTube a beta version of the news app, which is going to introduce this logo as well. Let's take a look at that actually. All right, so this video is from a guy called GTK474. Um, seen in the beta mode on the news app on Android and Galaxy S9. Let's take a look at this. Oh, see, I'll make it bigger. There we go. Notice this. That's the new logo on screen right there. I do also notice that when you scroll down far enough, the 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 logo collapses as well, which is I think it's actually quite an interesting touch. And as I can see on the screen right here, I am not a graphic designer by by um, employment kind of thing. I'm, I don't I don't do graphic design as a, a as a job kind of thing. However. When it comes to being a novice eh, slash being, you know, a hobbyist graphic designer, I can see this logo does actually do the um, the shrink test quite well. The shrink test basically being a test case where you take a logo that you've designed or a graphic design that you've designed and seeing if it scales down well. If you, if you still notice some of the elements of the logo when it's scaled down, it's a successful logo. That's basically how a logo works. It's supposed to work on many different types of media. That's one of the main goals of it. It's supposed to be identifiable. It's because it's part of your brand. Now, you can argue the SBN logo. 
maybe fit, fit the bill in that case. I don't know, but I'll see, I'll argue right now the BBC the new BBC logo does a job quite well as far as I'm concerned. Excuse me. So there you go. That is the new logo. If you scroll down further. However, some express concern with the new changes. One person tweeted, the BBC logo change is an absolute joke and a waste of license per cash. Cost not significant. How many pensioners licenses could have been paid for instead? Hang your heads in shame. A corporation run by out of touch fools with no grip on reality. Here's a here's an issue that people don't seem to get as well. Interestingly, um, God rest his soul, Martin Lambie Nairn, who actually created this logo back in 1987. Martin Lambie Nairn. This is the guy who came up with the, the 1987 BBC logo. The current logo that's being used right now, that's being, you know, phased out a little bit now, um, was created in 1987 by this guy right here. And as, as I say, he passed away recently. But um, it was interesting because he actually told a story where he actually held up a newspaper, or they said it was a newspaper kind of thing, that said, you know, that this guy, this guy was paid £50 million pounds to straighten the logo because as as you can see the BBC logo went from something like this with it all being a, a, a talent kind of thing to you know this and now the now it's been something like that but as, as you can see right here if I, if I scroll through this you'll notice that the BBC blocks have been a thing since you know not since the BBC has been established but ever since the television medium behind the BBC has been established this is one of the older logos as well. Yeah, the, the 1990s logo, and then you had the 1997 logo, which is still being used today until it gets phased out. Now let's take a look at this. Actually, if I go to the BBC website, .co.uk, this is the logo is still being used. So it's obviously that obvious that the uh, the logo is being phased out, but it's being done slowly. It wasn't like in 1987 when this logo was introduced and everything, bang on, was being introduced. Boom, boom, boom. Everything's got it. Literally only two days later after this logo was introduced, the BBC News Channel was launched. So it was all a big rush to get everything out the door. Unlike now, where it's a case of, you know, this is being phased in slowly, this new logo. Interesting. So it's, it's, a, it's a soft rebrand going on across the entire... BBC Network and the BBC's got a big organisation as well. Many different brands, many different sub companies under its wing. It is a massive corporation. Now, when it comes to the argument of it being expensive, there's a lot of different reasons why a logo for a corporation can be quite expensive. For one thing, you've got to worry about um, printing it and having the build, big billboards and um, signs branding across all different. It was. I believe the logo was designed in house, which you know people people get paid for redesigning the logo kind of thing. So that's that's a little bit taking off. But no, you wouldn't get paid fifty seven billion pounds or fifty seven million pounds, not make it too big, to uh, change the logo slightly. And that's the reason why they've only changed it slightly because it's not that expensive. Let's see how much it costs actually. New logo cost. Costing thousands. This is the Metro right here. BBC Defence with logo redesign costing thousands. As critics think it looks exactly the same. That's another thing behind a, the, the font. As I say, the font that was used by the BBC was called BBC Gil... Not, not BBC... Uh, Gil Sands. Which was created by a guy called Eric Gill. Um, who was around... I think, it was 19, I think it was in the 1960s or earlier kind of thing. He was a graphic designer that, um, in the UK. And Martin Lambinier thought it was a fitting font to use since Gil Sands' artwork is displayed all around BBC um, Broadcasting House. So it was a fitting little kind of thing for him to use. Now, of course, eventually, to save taxpayer money, the BBC... That, that's, a, that's another reason why this logo was introduced. Ironically, to save money. Now, at the time, it, was, it obviously seemed quite expensive, but long, long term, it's to save money. Because the BBC is going to be using its own font. It doesn't have to pay a license fee to keep using this font used for this. So, yes, it's going to be quite expensive. Again, the reason why logo rebrands can be quite expensive is because you've got to worry about stationery. Big signs above your door and um, branding. 
you know, printed books and that, that, that kind of stuff, printing processes, having to get the, the logo implemented in all different other media or mediums, that could be quite expensive on its own. Just getting that logo out there, not even just a case of designing it. It's quite easy to make a logo. I've done it. Look at this. Look, look at this little thing down here. I made this. I am proud of this. I made this. It's easy to make a logo. It's another thing when it comes to actually implementing it as part of your brand, especially when it's going to be rebranded. You have to pay people to make new signs and that kind of stuff. So that's reason why this kind of stuff can be quite expensive. And again, the BBC is quite a large organisation, so they've got many different studios around the country, not to mention in other countries around the world. You've got BBC News, you know, got BBC World, got got studios all around the globe. So it's probably going to cost quite a bit to get the new logo up on, you know, the studio rooms and on doors, on cups, on cameras. <laughs> it's just going to be quite. It's going to be quite costly. I could go a little bit more in depth than this, but I'm not going to make this video too long. That being said, guys, that is an interesting little thing I wanted to talk about right here. BBC is getting a new, new logo and it's being slowly phased in within the corporation and I do expect by the end of the year it's probably going to be added to a lot of stuff. A little bit weird, there's a little bit kind of... A little bit kind of... Um, um, not daunting, but it's a little bit kind of like, whoa. <laughs> it's kind of surprising to see this because the old logo has been a staple since, as I say, 1987. You think of the BBC, you think of this logo. So seeing this being phased in is a little bit weird. That being said though, have your comments saying that this logo looks kind of cheap. Or at least it looks cheap. But um, hey, that being said, that is that is up for you to uh, make your mind on. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think this logo looks cheap? What do you think of the new logo? Do you like it? I like it a little bit because it does pass the shrink test. You shrink it down, it still functions. It still does what it needs to do. And it's cheaper, it's free. You know, BBC owns it, it's completely owned by them. You don't have to license, you know, a third party, you know, graphic designer to uh, use the font. That being said, guys, this is SBN News. I hope you found this interesting. That being said, if you enjoyed, like the video, comment down below how you feel about this topic right here. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you. That being said, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.